everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I'll be talking Jalen Hurts extends the play in training camp and hits Travis Fogel. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Right, I'm just reacting to the clips I've been seeing. It's pretty late for me to put out a whole production and do all the research on what happened in training camp. Sorry, it ended late. I'm sorry, but I may still react to the clips. But Jalen Rager. I'm sorry, but Jalen Hurts extends the play and finds Travis Fulgham. This is one of those plays I want to see once in a while is because I know it was amazing. That's why I'm talking about it. But the offensive line, I'm not going to lie, man. That defensive line got there quick, got there extremely quick in the interior. And um, Jalen Hurts had to roll out and find Travis Fulgham. Now, Travis Fogel, I'm looking for this clip, too. He's been balling. I heard he caught a tough one over Steven Nelson. So far, the two best receivers that have been in camp is Travis Fogel and also Quez Watkins. Obviously, Devontae Smith been out of camp so far because of the, um, I think, the MCL sprain or the knee sprain. So, I can't really count him right now. But so far, it's been Travis Fogel and Quez Watkins. But this was amazing. This is something that Carson Wentz could not do. Carson Wentz will extend the play here and there. But after the knee injury, quote unquote, his almost MVP season, he, he haven't been trying to extend plays because don't want to get hurt or he's overthinking. But that was a good instinct of Jalen Hurts. We've seen this briefly, like against the Arizona Cardinals, against the Saints. So he can roll out and make plays like this. So salute to Jalen Hurts. Um, salute to Travis Fogel being there. And you just see the team chemistry. There's a few clips out there. Zach Gertz and him as well. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Goes.